Tonight is March the 4th, uh, 2025. This is the little um, one I named uh, Little Jewel, except I swapped out the 807 for a KT88. I checked all of my voltages over here and make sure that there's enough filament current to light it up. Everything's great. Uh, it's performing really well, but I thought I would focus on one particular thing tonight. And that is um, adjusting the negative feedback. I have a method for it. I think it works pretty good. I mentioned this in um, one of my recent videos about when you get too much negative feedback, it starts uh, wanting to oscillate at a real low frequency. I'm going to show you where I start and how I do this and how it works. And maybe it'll, it'll help somebody. This may not be the perfect way, but it does seem to work. Okay. I'll zoom in and out on things. Uh, the thing to kind of be watching right now is this one. And you can see I've got it right at the edge of too much negative feedback. That's what happens when there's too much. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. All right. All right. All right. Behave. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give it a little bit more negative feedback. See, it gets a lot worse, huh? Not good. Let's turn up the gain a little bit. Okay, but anyway, that's pretty stable right there, it seems. If we decrease the negative feedback, the, it gets, well, no, I'm increasing negative feedback. Yes, yeah, that's too much. So, I don't know. That feels good right there. What do you think? So now we measure it. Huh? Okay, let me get around here and... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to show you something else. Really, really interesting here. <laughs> really interesting. Uh, you can see it on both. But this is, uh, you know, one of the PC FFT programs. Watch this. I know you can't see everything like I can here, but I'm going to turn the gain down. Okay, I turn the gain way down. Okay, wait a minute. i got to put it back in power. I'm going to show you something really kind of interesting. Um, DB, there's power. Okay. I'm going to run it up to, uh, to one watt. There's a watt. Got just a little bit of second harmonic. That's two kilohertz, the big one, the fundamental, and then there's four. There's one watt. And look at there. There comes our second harmonic. That's at 2.3 watts. And then all of a sudden the whole chorus comes in at 3.5 watts. <laughs> at 0.7%. The THD is really low. But it, it, just all of a sudden all of the relatives show up out there, you know. See, we got the second, third, and fourth at that point right there. I don't know if that would have the sound of an SE amplifier or not. That might be too much negative feedback. Well, let's reduce it some and, and see. Let me see. Turn it that way. Turn it that way. Okay, I reduced it some. Whoa. Well, see, our power went up to 5.7 watts because I turned it way back. Okay, let's start all over. There's our fundamental. We want a nice second one co second coming up there. There we go. We got a good second coming up. Okay, there. Okay, there. Well, we don't want the whole chorus in there yet. Hey, that was, that's pretty good. That's 2.05. That's not so much negative feedback. It's not. I, the, I've, I've lessened, I've increased the value of the feedback resistor so that uh, decreased. I don't know what it is right now. I'll have, to, I'll have to measure everything. But I would say that sounds like an SC amplifier right there with that much negative feedback. Hope you understand what I'm think I'm saying, what I'm trying to say, is we like that second harmonic, and there it is, and I went down in power, now I'm down at 0 0.6, now let's see what it is at 1 watt, there it is at 1 watt, well that don't sound great, <laughs> I guess, and then again, you keep cranking it, all of a sudden, ta-da, look at there, wow, they even took over the second harmonic at 3.5 watts, with a THD of point. 
0.79%. That doesn't even make sense, does it? Well, that second harmonic, I guess that's the one that runs the THD up really big time. There's 1.2 at 3.8 watts. Hmm. The second came back in there. So, right there. It, isn't that interesting how we get a dip at a certain power level of well, the second harmonic is almost completely gone. That's at 3.36 watts. Look here. 3.36 watts. 0.6% THD at uh, 2 kilohertz. And there it is on the uh, on the old beautiful uh, HP. Uh, actually, the um, if, if you actually, I don't know if it's going to focus. Come on now. Wow. No, there's just there's just too much glare. Anyway, the um, the display on the HP and the and the display on the computer are the same. They're 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 for all reasonable technical purposes the same. Here, I think what you're really going to want to go with nothing. There you got it. Everything on there. You see, there it is. And if you paid much attention to it, if you, those are 10 dB per, so that's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, 50 dB. That 50 dB down for the second harmonic. And over here, well, that one doesn't show it the same way, does it? Did. Well, where the heck is the second harmonic? Oh, there's two, yeah. Four is gone. And that one. Oh, actually, it is in it, it is in the uh, in the HP also. Yeah, it's actually missing. It's the one right after the. Uh, yeah, it's in there, very very tiny. Can hardly see it. So anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is this: uh, these FFT programs uh, for our PCs that aren't much money. This one is. Uh, this is one I've talked about a number of times. What is this thing? What is this? True RTA. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you put all your data and stuff into it properly and really format it good when you uh, when you print these. Your, your name and everything that uh, you've registered it as is printed very nicely. It makes really nice prints. Okay, well, that's just kind of a, a little uh, whatever. Um, one way to adjust THD. Well, let, let, let me turn the camera back around and I'll show you the amplifier. We're not going to be listening to any kind of music anytime soon on it. I'm sure I will. I'll take it into the house. But... Um, Here's what it boils down to. Let's see. I need my pointer. Yeah. Probably I'll turn it off is what I'll do. Yeah, I'll turn it off. Anyway, it's all the same. <clears throat> I just wired in a different one. I used the same uh, 500 ohm resistor. Uh, I did put a, a grid stopper in, in series with it. But everything else is the same except it's a KT88. I got to take this off right now and make a measurement of that uh, of that resistor, that pot, and then uh, show it to you again. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I got a bucket full of uh, KT88. So I'll take you up in the attic sometime and show them to you. But otherwise, it's the same. It'll be interesting to uh, to listen to it and. Um, I'll make some more videos on it. I really uh, begun to appreciate the uh, the SE. I uh, am never thought I'd say that. Till next time. Thanks for for watching. Stay safe.